Hey fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. In today's reading, we are going to take a look and see what your tarot guides want you to know right now. Okay, so what messages and what advice do they have for you? Um, guys, keep in mind that this is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everyone. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out. I will list my email address below the video. Wow, you've got all major arcana cards so far. <laughs> wow, guys. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Page of Swords. Um, what is happening here? What... Is happening here because whatever it is it's major it's huge okay um I mean major arcana cards are big you know this this standalone cards they bring in such huge um, such huge transformation they bring in you know a lot of energy a lot of um, a lot of energy into this reading and a lot of newness okay and whatever is taking place here in your energies it's big it's it's massive it's um it's shifting it's transforming it's very powerful okay you are going through some very big thrilling and exciting changes okay you are going through a transformation you are in such a big powerful manifesting energy you're in you right now are taking on the energy of the magician okay um you are manifesting so much around you. You're manifesting new energies, new beginnings, new relationships, new connections, new opportunities, new possibilities. Okay, just because of where you're at. Okay, where, where you're at emotionally, where you're at internally here. There's a lot of things that are um, shaping. There's a lot of things that are shifting and shaping here. There's a lot of things that are transforming in your energies. See, what's happening right here, I think, is co it, it comes after a period of silence. It comes after a period of transformation, it, it, like a period of isolation, okay? You may have, um, I don't know, it just feels like you've, for some time, maybe you've pulled away. You've pulled away and you've been keeping to yourself. Maybe you've been very withdrawn. Maybe you've been, you know, you've isolated yourself from people around you from distractions, everyday um, distractions, you know, you carved out more time to spend on your own, okay, um, the hermit, it doesn't feel like, it's not a lonely kind of energy, it's an energy of solitude, but I don't think he's bothered by the fact that he's spending some time on, on his own, right, I don't think he's bothered by this, I think he purposely and intentionally you know, is alienating or isolating himself so that he can take on and embark on this journey. And for you, I think that during this time, you've taken some time out so that you can, because there's a huge energy shuffle in the reading here, huge energy shuffle. And I think, you know, you're, you've gone from this energy of, call it loneliness if you want, but this energy of isolation, um, alienation contemplation rumination okay um you've gone from this really quiet period of your life or you're going from this really quiet period of your life where there's just so much stillness and there's just so much profound silence that comes with the hermit energy and then you're stepping out of that energy not into a chaotic kind of energy no but you're stepping out of that energy and there's this energy shuffle where suddenly things are um, things are moving, things are moving, things are happening, things are taking place, okay, they're shifting, they're shuffling, they're transforming here, things are happening, okay, and it comes after, um, because see, the time that you've spent on your own, there's been such an increased period of relaxation, and, you know, you, like presence, you've been very present, 
you might have been doing a lot of meditation a lot of inner work but you've really been working on yourself and you've been very present in your life and yeah it's i just see a lot of inner work that's happened during this time and because of this inner work okay and this energy shuffle that um you know you, you've you've chose to spend so much time on your own here but during that time you've not been wasting that time you've been recharging your batteries you've been you know looking after yourself and you've been clearing out stress and you've been cluttering out the heart and the brain and you feel very rejuvenated and this time that you spent alone feels intensely and immensely restorative you've become a lot more present you've become a lot less distracted a lot more productive and you're stepping into a much more confident power a much more confident energy where you're taking power and you're taking control honestly this period of silence or this quiet has been um you know has been very powerful and transformative for you because i'm seeing that it's linked it's it's you know it's linked you to this to a lot of learning and a lot of growth here yeah. and it's uplifted you okay and again that's why i want to say that it doesn't really feel like loneliness okay it doesn't feel like you know you've you know you kind of pulled away from everyone and you've been spending a lot of time on your own but it doesn't feel like loneliness it just feels like it's um it just feels like it's transformative okay you've really enjoyed the time that you've been spending on your own here and you've just you just take you you've taken out or you will be taking out time to just intentionally be on your own to just to just sit or take walks on your own to spend some time on your own and this is such it's put you like yoga meditation any practices but it's just put you into such a restorative energy okay because what happens next then suddenly things are happening for you okay and instead of reacting you're being proactive okay instead of like waiting for things to happen or reacting to things when they do i feel like you're being proactive you're making things happen um you might be responding to things but you're responding to things differently than you normally would okay because it's just this new newfound confidence this newfound energy that you're stepping into and you're making things happen and again you're just you're manifesting okay you're radiating there's a glow around you you're manifesting possibilities you're manifesting opportunities you're manifesting the right people in your life okay you are the magnet that's attracting all of these things in the past you might have been repelling those things because of the energy that you've been in but now you're in a much more confident energy much more you know uh, much more powerful energy happier energy and you're attracting so much goodness and so much newness in your life here there's a lot of new beginnings for you here there's a lot of um healing that's taking place restoration that's taking place um victories here as well winnings victories and new beginnings there's closing of chapters and beginnings of new ones just remember when something when one door closes for you it's because a new door opens up okay and i think you know especially with temperance it brings in such a calming peaceful restorative energy and I, this is how i see you responding to things even to things that aren't necessarily positive okay because you know life is going to happen any either way right experiences good or bad both good or bad they're going to happen but it's how you choose to respond to those experiences it's how you choose to respond to life and you're choosing to respond to life differently and it's it's just working for you things are just all of a sudden you know they're starting to work out for you here you could be physically there's a lot of movement here so you could be physically moving to a new location a new home a new residential address you might be moving to um, a new city a new state a new country you may be moving jobs starting jobs okay so if you've finished one job you're going to be starting something new 
if you finished one relationship, it's because you outgrew that relationship, you outgrew that connection, and you're going to be starting a new one. Okay, because the people that you're attracting in your life right now, those people, they're important. Because they're responding to that good energy and that good vibration and those good intentions that you're putting out. They are a result of your manifestation. You know, the vibration that you're putting out, they're picking up on that vibration. And they're responding that to that vibration very um, musically, very beautifully. Okay, the intentions that you're putting out, all the intentions, the good intentions that you're putting out, the good karma you're putting out, all of that is coming back to you. Okay, it's like a boomerang. It's coming back around to you. Okay, and this is why, you know, you're attracting all of this goodness. Because you're radiating, you're coming from a good place. You're radiating from a very good place. And right now, you're on a high-flying frequency. You're on a high-flying disc, okay? And no one is dimming your light. And no one, at least not right now, at least not for the time being, no one is bringing you down to their, you know, um, low-flying disc. And the people that are on a low-flying disc around you right now, they're not matching your vibration. And if that's the case, then these are people that are going to be taking an exit from your life. Or these are people that you're outgrowing and you're just going to be, you know, removing them from your life. Okay. But the people that are matching your energy, the people that are on a high flying disc with you, the people that are, you know, um, vibrating on that same vibrational frequency as you, they're picking up on your energy and, you know, they're matching your and paralleling your energy. And those that aren't, but want to be on that high flying disc with you, they're going to level up. Okay? They're going to want to match and parallel your energy, your vibration. So that means they're going to put themselves up to reach you. Okay? So don't try and shrink yourself to fit something that you once outgrew. Alright? Because everything here is working out perfectly for you, everything here is working out beautifully. You're in such a good energy, you're in such a good place right now, where things are just flowing so beautifully, so musically. Alright guys, and I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.